With this, we're finally caught up on schedule with Spirit Chronicles, the first Gauntlet system show that we procured in. Gauntlet as in a show that was left behind that we didn't really pick up that was airing in fall 2024. But hey, season one all done. Season two, we're finally caught up. What's happening? Um, Race is being sus as usual. Ryu just saved Duke Hugnot and the hero and everyone else. Lotte is funny. Arya is great. Hiroaki, I think, can have great development if he can just stop being such a cocky motherfucker. But uh, that's pretty much where we're at right now. We also saw Lucius and the Emperor. The Empire proxy has been finally shown. The Emperor seems a bit of a joke, considering how like uh, race and Lucius treat the Emperor. We'll see if he's just a puppet. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Ooh, a Lomodaria. Yo, yo. This girl is S tier. Yeah, Flora's gonna get kidnapped again. <laughs> Intruders is today's episode's title. Yo, yo. We're good. Seeing her blonde is such a trip. Oh, couples. Wow. Okay, we're gonna just chilling here. Aisha just busy eating. <laughs> How many snacks does Aisha have, bro? Look at the... Distribution is next though. The amount of like Aisha uh, fan service by having her eat so many cute foods and you know blushing is crazy this season. I don't think it's okay, but Aisha does not care about the plot. <laughs> Look at her! She's actually smiling too. Like, I never see her smile and blush at like conversations with other people. It's just a blank face every time. But when it comes to food, she actually starts smiling. Her instincts are sharp, really? Oh, knowing who Ryo is. True. He's a valuable ally. That's right, Satsuki. I think already we have such a good rapport with Rizarote. Since the beginning with the pasta stuff, even though she didn't recognize us, but one of her girls did. And with the savior of, you know, like Ryo showing up and saving everyone last episode, I think we're really chilling. If anything, Rizarote probably wants to uh, build good rapport with Haruto because of how capable he is. Huh? Shrewd and capable. 15 year old ruthless. Aisha doesn't give a fuck. Aisha's just like, alright, which one will I eat next? Mm, chocolate one? Mint? Strawberry? Vanilla? She does not care about the plot. That one. Yeah, that one. Oh, Aisha. Okay. I gotta learn important noble mannerisms. <laughs> I mean, he did have the power. He does have power. I've seen him lift that sword so easily. It's just lack of experience and his cowardice, which is totally reasonable for a fucking neat from Japan to show up and just be able to slay minotaurs makes no sense. But like, the potential is there. Yep. Yeah, that strength was crazy. This kid's like 14, 15, I think. Would it be right to think that the strength came from his divine arms? Wow, he has divine arms, guys. Okay. Divine arms to use the power. Okay, very important mechanic for the summoned heroes. Affinity for divine arms. Very specific to heroes. Gustav actually getting serious. Okay. This is the most I've heard Gustav talk. Plans within plans. Yo, I, and I wonder what Gustav is probing for right now, or if he's letting his guard down, right? Because, like, Rizarote just got an implication here, right? Trying to set him up as, like, a symbol. Yeah, just want symbol of power, that's it. 
彼が現れていなければリオハルト様ですね。フフフフフ。And that's the best part. They still think that we have an enchanted sword, right? Of some sort of powerful relic when they have no clue that we're imbuing it with spirit arts. Do they even know the concept of spirit arts? Does the masses outside of the spirit users and the Agumo, do they even know about this mechanic? Race does. Yeah, Race has shown that he is very aware of it, but Gustav, probably not. Who could it be? Mm. So well educated. Fallen noble house, like Arya? I'm surprised they're not hypo like, um, guessing that it could be another summoned hero. Because, like, if he's so strong, could it be a hero too? But they're not, they're not even gonna accept, they're not even thinking about that. Okay, very cautious. Oh, a compliment. Yeah, like Alphonse and Stewart? Yeah, send them into the forest, bro. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, it's because race is collecting all these, you know, humans for blank dolls, right? We saw that. This whole conversation is actually so interesting. Like... I've been thinking about it for a while, but Spirit Chronicles, even though it's sometimes very easy to guess what may happen, other than crazy plot twists of Michan not being Michan and stuff like that, even the summoning was kind of uh, obscure and I have to think, really think of like, what the fuck just happened? Why are there five here? Six stones? Oh yeah, we got caught up in it. Like, the politics, the discussions, it's actually really good. Like, the fact that I'm even thinking about what Gustav might be like thinking during this conversation and Rote is also just like trying to get other implications in the dialogue. It's not like a cheap show, right? It's not like a cheap isekai, but it actually tries. I, I, I respect that dialogue and the conversation, the depth of the conversation here and what it means for the future. Oh boy. <laughs> we gonna have some fun shit with Stewart and Alphonse today, huh? Look at these gold diggers. Look at these gold diggers, man. <laughs> Roanna's kind of doing this shit to to Hiroaki. I don't know how to feel about that. Roanna's like really hedging her bets to, you know, uh, seduce Hiroaki, I think. But these girls, bro. Hey, I mean, let them get their bag, right? These dudes are fucking too stupid to realize what's happening. Let the girls hustle. <laughs> fucking Stuart and Alphonse, man. Hmm? Bro has no clue. Hiroaki, yeah. This is the thing I love, right? Because I didn't know how Hiroaki would develop, but the fact that he was shitting on them already was like, oh, let's go, Hiroaki. They were hiding. They were hiding at the back, huh? Cowards. Hiroaki was also cowering, but you know. If I was these girls and I heard that conversation, I'd be like, damn. I think we can hustle them even harder. These dudes are idiots. They're insecure weaklings. Oh my god, I'm gonna take them for all I got. That's what this girl might have thought right now. Like, holy shit, these dudes are losers. Alright, let's go. Oh. VIP only. Rio. Rio is in there. No penthouse view for you. Wow. They played. No, no, no. Yes, it does, bro. We got the best seat. They're gonna show up. They're gonna be so fucking bad. Oh my god, the drama today is gonna be so juicy. ハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルトとか。でもハルト
Is Stuart and Alphonse so insignificant that Haruto has also forgotten from season one? Am I the only one harboring this grudge or is he playing dumb? I'm not too sure just yet. Ugh. Is that even funnier that we saved him. You have the balls. Like any common, you know, decency, if they had any, would realize, oh shit. We were being very egotistical, just wanted to impress the ladies with the, you know, penthouse room. But you're the savior of our party. You know what? My bad. Y'all enjoy the room. That's what I might do if I was Stuart and Alphonse, but you're going to press on knowing that this is your savior? I mean, they were already salty, you know. They were very salty outside thinking about Haruto. <laughs> Bro, he didn't know. He, he actually didn't know. He's like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Season 1 Beltram character! <laughs> there it is. There it is! Yo, look at the gold diggers. They want the drama. Oh, we're gonna let him have it. We can share it if you want. Uh, okay? Hey, what, what, what? I thought that he noticed, you know, uh, said he has identity here no it's all about like they just want more girls these dudes are so stupid like haruto gave him the room that's unreal like haruto saved them they don't even respect that they demand their room we give him the room but it's like nah give me the girls too like <sighs> their greed knows no bound <laughs> Oh, this is some nuclear drama, man. Oh, this is some nuclear drama, man. Nobles, man. Yo, even Stewart's saying back out. Yo, if, if your boy is saying back out right now, even the girls right now, they're like, this is too much. Even the girls are like, listen, we got the room. Please, stop it. This, this is a bit too shameless. Alphonse is going to press the... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's Alphonse Senpai now. <laughs> he, just switched, he just switched the honorifics to be more serious. Like, Alphonse, please. Please, bro. Big bro, please stop. Don't, don't stop, stop, stop. Alphonse <laughs> Senpai? Oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm ignorant. Mm. You hurt my ego. That's it. Okay, okay, he's starting to go first. Okay. We gave him the room. Even Stewart said back off. This is all before, after, sorry, we saved their asses. We are a private VIP guest of Rizerote, which these dumb idiots kind of are serving with Duke Huguenot. <laughs> he then outlines the law. He says, I'm sorry for being born, not a noble, but I think the laws state that you can't just do this. <laughs> then, like, like, the amount of different things that we've laid out to be in the right, and he's still going, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. True. Oh, Stuart, no. <laughs> Imagine how awkward this is gonna be after the fight. This isn't even a fight. It's a fucking humiliation ritual. What are the gold diggers gonna think? These two are gonna be in the ground. Like the girls gonna be like, ooh, damn. Like, ooh, this is actually so pitiful. I think I'm gonna go seek a halto right now. <laughs> No spirit arts needed. No enchant physical ability needed. Damn, let's go, Haruto. What's the girl's gonna say? Oh boy, this is gonna be the good part, bro. Oh, I've been waiting. I mean, I think this is. I mean, I honestly kind of gave up on the whole like revenge against Alphonse and Stewart because there's nothing to really. Avenge. They're idiots. They're a bunch of stupid kids that acted shitty in season one. And obviously, I'm going to hold a grudge. But to Ryo, to Haruto, doesn't even matter. It's so insignificant compared to something like Lucius. And this is, I guess, the moment that I've been waiting for since season one where they just get humiliated. 
no spirit arts in there that's necessary. Nothing. Just simple martial arts deflecting. He actually looks sad. The entire tone of how to do there was like, I, I, I honestly feel bad for you right now. Like, look at his face. It's just like, he's not even mad. He's just like, bro, you're making a fool of yourself in front of the ladies. Like, this is so sad. And now, what's Lizarote going to do? What's Duke Huke not going to do? Gustav going to be pissed off if you're trying to, you know, if you're trying to mend, like, amicable relationships with this mysterious savior, and, you, and your men pull this shit, like, oh, they should be fucking thrown out. They should lose their nobility title. Too late. Way too late. Making Lotte's life so harder, dude. <laughs> Gustav showing anger. Yo, Gustav is actually so hype. Not no more. I think about it. Yo, he's actually getting like really invested. Usually, he just has a cocky, cool, just just smirking face, right? Gustav is pissed off, bro. Oh, no. And Stuart's literally related. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's right. This is Stuart's dad. Yo, spank your son in front of Haruto. <laughs> Should have fucking hit in the back of the head, bro. Just enter the room, you fucking idiot. Number one and number two, bro. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, even from his son. That was a while ago. He fucked up there too, though. Yorokome, <laughs> bitches? I will disinherit you. You're no longer my son. That's actually so funny. Gustav never expected anything from his son. He's so cold, but so pragmatic and just ruthless. I never expected anything from my shitty son, Stuart. And now you're getting out. Fuck you. You're, you're out, bro. Oh my god. He kicked out of the family. Woo. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's also a good question. Why does Alphon look more like Gustav's son, right? I always, like, I haven't seen Gustav's wife. Stuart's hair color. If anything, Alphonse looks more like Gustav's son. What if there's some drama here? Actually, more family drama. No, no, no. He, he saved your asses, dumbass. Ooh. <laughs> Lack of ability. Are you pulling rank right now? Can Alphonse say this? What do you mean? Wait, wait, the hierarchy of nobility, is Alphonse actually up there? How could he possibly demand this from Gustav right now? What, what are you gonna do? No. Oh, weapon diff? Weapon diff? Yep. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. One chance. Um, these two idiots will go into the forest to check out exactly why people are disappearing. What he was talking to Lotte before. Yeah. Race is gonna turn into blank dolls. What about Stuart? Is he still disowned? Ooh. What about Stuart? Oh, apologize. Yo, I love Gustav. What the hell? I love the Huguenots, man. This is weird as fuck. And like, I'm sure Duke Huguenot is gonna be, you know, he might be an attack. I'm not sure. I think I always had the wrong, you know, um, wrong opinion of him. Or not wrong, but like an unfavorable opinion because he was a noble. And that he's in Beltram, the kingdom that treated us like shit. But Gustav is becoming one of my favorite characters in this show. He's so cunning, smart. He's got his own plans. He's willing to just disinherit his son just like that. Watch Stuart even not be his son. I mean, Stuart does have Gustav's eyes though, right? The hair color is weird, but if you look at the green eye and the green eye from, you know, Gustav, I think it makes sense. And who knows, his wife has silver hair or something. But this character is very, very interesting. Yo, yeah. Gustav is definitely my favorite noble. One of my favorite nobles. Oh, that's right. Not Celia. This is blonde Cecilia. 
ハルトのそばを離れたくないしあし心配心配はいありがとうございますいざとなそそうだねロッテナリアこちらで待機しなさいはセシリアと申しますアイシェお二人ともお綺麗でいらっしゃいますね、oh, yeah. まずアイシェアンバーダーわかった。失礼いたします。OK。Is you gonna apologize? Alphonse and Stewart also needs to apologize. ハルト様からのお申し出があれば何なりと。では、円満に騒動が仮面の作成をお願いできますでしまた。Okay. 私が仲裁役として作成に協力いございます。それで、差し支えなければやえお招きいたしますのでお。Oh, we c o m e over for lunch. OK。申し訳ないようですので。私だけで伺わせていただきます。We going alone. とりあえずはそんなところでどうだろう。知らに言うことです。Right, we got some paperwork to justify us. これでユグの公爵が当然のことだよ。Please. では、作成は第三者であるリーゼロティかな。OK。承知しました。親として責任を持って As a parent, すせたい my shitty son. <laughs> Don't worry, Sir Haruto. I've already disinherited my shitty son. He was always the failure. Now I have an excuse to get rid of him. Thank you, Sir Haruto. That's right. Come say sorry. Come on. Better be groveling on his knees. Dogeza. Full Dogeza, bro. Come on. On your knees. There we go. <laughs> Uh, they learn from Yagubo, man, because this is, I don't think, very common in Beltram, right? This is a very Eastern culture. You're getting on four, all fours? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 they're not apologetic. They're not sorry for anything. <laughs> they are mad. They're tilted. There's nothing apologetic coming here. I don't think Ryu even, like, Ryu's probably thinking, like, look at the little face he made here, right? Look. He's like, ugh. <laughs> Alphonse is gonna wild out. Flora! Hey! And Hero. Superb steak. Japanese. Don't need a rice cooker. うまい !OK、ベンシーパスタ、リゾート、リゾートって、ロー e ユーロピアンディッシュ、ね、yeah. ああ、やっリゾートは very specific term in the world of cooking。And how to like、first パスタ、now リゾート、hmm. hmm. Yeah, and it kind of feels like Lotte is like hiding the Japanese part. She's really playing among us well, right? She does not want anyone to figure out her identity. No traces back to Japan. Nope. I'm a white girl. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, neither could I. Crazy. Yeah. I'm not with my parents. Hiroki right now is very considerate. Right? He's. he's, he's He's kind of like being all grandiose and hero like, but he, he's considerate. Now, <laughs> Duke Yuk not just like.、Mm, okay. Parents, one died. 11, 16 now.、Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Like, he's scheming. Look at him. Look at his face, bro. Both these are scheming so hard, just listening to fucking everything, just writing down fucking notes, bro. Yuk not side eye is crazy. Because I saved your ass. And I got shit on it. Alphonse and Stewart, the nobles fucking suck. Down with Beltram.、Uh, we're traveling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to stay here? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. 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 I'm going
Look at these two just ready to monopolize Rio, bro. Cube not immediately just offered. Yeah, Belstrom. Yeah, yeah, my place, my place. I'll give you everything. No, no, no. Please don't do No, no, my place, my place. Now we good. I want to go to the forest. He could have been already here all the way before. Brother. Okay. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to hear from your dumbass, bro. Like, you haven't done shit. You're acting so big, bro. You... Oh my god. Yeah, I'll go farther than any one of you. Satsuki. Where's she at? Oh, Nayusha. Haruta says Jose instead, but Hiroaki says Onna. Onna is a very, like, a discriminatory way of referring to a woman, right? I think there is definitely a connotation with the term Onna compared to Jose. Like, it's something about Onna just feels like you wench. Foul wench Onna. I don't know. Yeah. Where did my interpretation of Onna change? I never really picked up on it until Fate Zero. That's right. Kire. Kirei showed up to Kiritsugu's mansion and he beat the fuck out of Kiritsugu's lover and wife. <laughs> and he called them Onna's over and over and over. <laughs> Onna this, Onna that. Oh my god, yeah, that, that's when it all started. Yeah. That's her. Takaisa is still missing. ミハルさんたちが探しているヒサマもその夜会でお披露目。ミハルさんたちが探しているヒサマもその夜会でお披露目。So, uh, sorry, let's go back. Garlock Satsuki. Hiroaki, I thought was Beltram already, but Beltram has two? I thought that Hiroaki was Beltram. But there's another. Shigekura Rui. Okay, Beltram had two stones? Maybe I'm misunderstanding like before. I thought that Beltram was Hiroaki. Beltram has two heroes. They got two rocks. Oh shit. Okay, we got a we got another girl. Shigekura Rui. And uh, these are completely random people now because obviously we only know the girl and the guy that was caught up, you know, the big bro, right? And the lady knight that we're about to see, but this is completely new. And another Japanese as usual. Yeah, Arbor and Hugnot, right? Arbor has one, and Hugnot is Hiroaki. Another kingdom. That's where the guy might be. The big bro. Maybe. This party, this celebration is going to be huge. Yeah. Flora was just locked in looking at Haruto the entire time, man. Look at Flora, just so just upright, just staring. And Roanna, continuously glazing Hiroaki. You got to respect Roanna's glaze, bro. Roanna ain't even looking at, you know... Uh, uh, Rio right over here. Flora is. Roanna is out for the be Roanna is here to secure Hiroaki no matter what. Alright, Alphonse and Stewart's going into the forest. You're gonna meet Ray's pretty soon. Uh-oh. Ray's? Already? Lucius, never mind. Lucius. Oh shit, Lucius pulling up. Yo! A sword, too. Uh oh. They're not gonna survive this. Say it. <laughs> Lucius, nothing? Dot it! Says nothing. Hey, and that's the episode. Um, I don't want Alphonse to die here, though. Because, like, death is too easy of a way out. I want them to atone for their sins and continuously get made fun of. But, um, I don't know. If Lucius is pulling up, that's worse than anything that you could probably meet. Other than Rays, who could have just turned you into a bunch of blank dolls. Today's episode was very, very fun, right? We had the humiliation ritual for Stuart and Alphonse. Oh my god, they're a bunch of fucking idiots. Haruto didn't even remember them until he had to think for a second. He didn't even try to fight them seriously. Honestly, we pity them. And then the whole humiliation from, you know, Duke Hugna. Gustav's like, dude, you're a waste of a son. Holy shit. I never expected anything from you, but this is on another level. Disinherited. But hey, here's a redemption. Go into the forest. 
and they're about to get fucked up now. And then there was more talks about, you know, um, other heroes. This Soare. Soiri. Soare? Party. There's gonna be a gathering of champions, heroes, blah, blah, blah. And everyone is gathering. Another hero from the Arbor faction in Beltram has been summoned. A Japanese name that we're not familiar with. But there's also the other kingdom, Sentana, whatever, that may have the big bro that came with Satsuki here, right? Satsuki is uh, Garlark, you know, kingdom. So they're hiding all these heroes. I can't wait for them to all meet. And once we do, what will happen? Will race launch an attack when all the heroes are gathered and they're inexperienced? Also, why are they all Japanese? That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.